Good morning, welcome to the Art Money Talk. My name is Mo. Today's question is how to make money with art online. If you are asking this question, perhaps you are a student still at school, so being employed full time is not an option, or perhaps you are facing a really difficult economy, a recession, so you need a side job to keep things together and to make the ends meet. So this is a video for you if you are facing those situations. I know perhaps you are short on money at this moment, so what I'm going to tell you is just a way to make money without startup capitals. So you don't have to worry about making an initial investment. Only thing you need is skill and time. The easiest way and the most risk-free way to make money online with art is doing commissioned works. I know you say, hey, why not just paint and sell works on the internet? That's an option too. However, if those works are not sold in a short time, you will start build a large inventory at your home that's not convenient. And also you're risking those work never sold and all this money invested in making those work will just go down to the drain. Doing commissioned work also means that you can start with absolutely nothing. So the customer will typically pay you beforehand so you can take the money, go to a fan art store, buy the supplies, buy food and come home and do the work. So it is a perfect kind of gig for someone who starts from scratch. However, in order to make the strangers on the internet pay you in advance before they know you, before they meet you and see the works, you really need some trust. So you will need credibilities to earn their trust. So if you are a student from a local fan art school, make sure you reflect that on your CV. If you have a lot of happy customers, make sure you ask them to write you reviews on the internet, on social media. And if you have a lot of experience, make sure you have a large portfolio to reflect your experience. Here are three ways you can make money by doing commissioned work online. Number one, your artist website. To charge your customers online, you need a website with a payment method. There are several service providers out there. They charge you from almost nothing to $300 a month. So there are a lot of selection. Make sure you start with a lower end, let's say, start with Big Cartel is a free option. Big Cartel allows you to list up to five products, one image per product. So imagine you are painting three kind of commission works, uh, wedding photos, um, children photos or pet photos. And this way you can put up three different pricing strategy and then ask your customer to pick and pay in advance. Big Cartel doesn't charge you commission, but the two payout method, PayPal and Stripe, they charge around 3% handling fee. Big Cartel is the cheapest option on the internet. You cannot beat that. It is practically for free. However, it does not bring you traffic it is your responsibility to do your communication and attract clients to your website. Number two, service marketplaces. 60% of our surveyed artists do not have a website. So if you're one of them, you can use Fiverr or Upwork, those kind of service marketplaces. Thousands of freelancers offer their skills for a small sum of money on those kind of platforms. At Fiverr, as the name suggests, you charge $5 per gig. When you get leveled up, you can charge whatever you want. Typically, professionals charge $5 to $50 for a micro gig that can be done in a few minutes or half hour. Your customers will expect the works to be delivered online. Fiverr will do advertisement on your behalf on the internet so you have clients coming to you. So there is a commission charged by Fiverr. You will receive $8 for a $10 gig. Number three, product marketplaces. I'm sure you have heard about Etsy, the world's biggest marketplaces for artisan products. It's a mature business founded in 2005. Now there are millions of products ranging from jewelry to clothing to painting and toys. At Etsy, you can sell commissioned works as well. Most of the times, customers expect a hard copy to be delivered by post. So if you are located in a place where the postal service is really bad, perhaps I would recommend you to stick to Fiverr where you deliver all the works digitally. Perhaps doing small gigs on the internet doesn't sound a lot of money. You receive five bucks here, 10 bucks there. But in any case, you are using just your spare time. You don't lose anything by trying to do something. And perhaps one day you'll be able to grow your business and you know, start a full-time art career. 
Also, it helps you to keep focused and do some practice every day using your spare time. And those works you produce during this time, although they were made on demand by other clients, those works are yours. You will be able to use it to enrich your portfolio and perhaps it will bring you more opportunities in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.